What's up, what's up? It's a special tips episode. Get ready to listen to a quick tip and apply it into your life to accelerate your fertility results. And let's get fertile AF. Hello again, it is Kate Vasquez from Radiant Health. My second tip is consuming lots and variety of whole plant foods full of fiber and healthy fats. And that's because these foods are going to contain nutrients to support your gut health, to support elimination of estrogen, and also support the production of your hormones, especially progesterone. Whole plant foods contain a lot of nutrients from fiber, antioxidants, vitamins, and minerals, which is what we need. We need to help support healthy egg quality and to support our hormones. The first food that I recommend is leafy greens. You want to consume lots and lots of leafy greens like kale and spinach because leafy greens contain a lot of fiber and we need fiber to help support healthy bowel movements every single day. And healthy bowel movements are going to help with the elimination of excess estrogen and toxins from our body. The next food that you really want to focus on consuming is healthy fats. And this is wild caught salmon, not farm raised because farm raised tends to have lots of antibiotics and hormones, which affect our gut health and actually add to even more hormones in our body, which we don't want. So stick to wild caught salmon. I recommend vital choice. It's an awesome company that has good quality fish, other healthy fats to focus on is avocados and olives, olive oil, also lots of nuts and seeds because all these healthy fats contain omega-3 fatty acids, which are going to be really important to reduce inflammation in our body and also help support our hormones, especially production of progesterone. The next food that I recommend is consuming fermented foods because fermented foods are going to contain good gut bacteria to really help support a healthy microbiome because we want good bacteria to help support elimination and to also support elimination of estrogen from our intestines. So lots and lots of probiotics or fermented foods that contain probiotics. And these include sauerkraut, kimchi. I recommend plant-based yogurt, like coconut yogurt. However, when you consume these foods, if you feel worse, like if you get bloated or gassy, it could mean that there's an issue in your gut and you definitely want to get checked out. So you might want to hold off on these foods until you get your gut checked. But once you heal your gut, Consuming these foods is going to really help support a healthy microbiome. And the last food group I highly recommend consuming more of is cruciferous vegetables. And that's going to be broccoli, cauliflower, bok choy, cabbage, all those cruciferous vegetables, because it's going to help support the metabolism of estrogen, especially metabolism of estrogen in your liver. Now, if you have a thyroid disorder, I recommend steaming them because raw cruciferous vegetables do contain something called glucosinolates, which can definitely impact your thyroid. But if you steam them, it changes into something called sulforaphane, which is a powerful antioxidant to really help reduce oxidative stress in your body, but also really help support estrogen metabolism. As I always say, the most important part is taking action. Taking imperfect action is fine too. Make sure to apply the tip into your life so you can get fertile AF. I'll see you soon.